Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rohit and today we'll talk about that Agile development uh, series second day. In this day, we'll talk about that what plugins we need to install, what are the modules we are able to get that and what are the uh, things we can get from this Agile. So without wasting time, let's get started. So in our last class we talked about that what is agile and then um, what details about that how the agile works so today we'll first time first we'll talk about that what plugins you need to be installed um, to work with the agile module very first thing you can see that you need to be install that agile development uh, plugins which will be available into the service now module so very first thing in the service now you have to go back to the plugins module uh, from here and then here you have to search the agile um, and then you have to install that plugins so now you can see that my complete um, module is loaded that plugins module is loaded and uh, if I search here that agile um, development and you can see this is the plugins which I need to install that so if you see here it's install slash update all in bracket it mentioned the three so it means that if I install this package it will be installed three uh, plugins and you can see here it mentioned the three licensed and zero not licensed. This means that to install this plugin in your production environment or in your actual industry, you need to have that license for these three uh, three application or three plugins. If I expand that, basically what three plugins are I'm going to install that very first plugins is the Agile Development 2.0, which is the latest Agile development plugins available to the service now. Apart from that, uh, we have an Agile Development 2.0 ATF test that I'm going to install. And then this is the optional, but this test help you to, I mean, these plugins will help you to test that uh, it will install some of the suites. And then it helps you to um, check that story, epics, all those stuff. So it is optional. You can install or you can just skip that. Apart from that, we have to install that. It will be installed that Agile Development Unified Backlog. Using that, you can maintain your backlog. We'll discuss those points later in our further video. But these three plugins will be installed together if you click install slash update. If you want to just install this uh, one module, you can just simply click that one of the module. I uh, mean, one of the plugins called Agile Development, and it will be installed that. So either you take a three plugins or three uh, three um, uh, you know three plugins, or you can just install one by one based on your needed. So if you see here each and every plugins, their ID is mentioned that this is Agile Development 2.0. This is paid service. This ADF is the free services because it will be installed some of the test case or test switch. And then you can see this is the uh, unified backlog, which is also the paid uh, plugin. So on an average, two plugins are paid. One plugin is free and these three are licensable. And if I go back to that here in the left navigation so far and search with that Agile, I am not getting any module um, so far because these plugins are not installed. Once I install that, the plugins will be available into the left side and we'll talk about that. So let's first install this plugin. So if I go back here and click install all, uh, it will be installed these three plugins. That's whatever it's showing. And you have a checkbox that load demo data. If you check that, it will be create some of the demo data, like some of the stories, some of the epics demo data. In your production, definitely you should not uh, click this load demo data or uh, to install the plugin. But in non-prod environment, to test that or in, in your, um, you know, the, to see that how it works, you should click the load demo data and then click the install. Once I click install, the installation will be started. So you can see it started installing that and you can see some of the tables they are creating the creating table uh, index so this it is started and it is creating some of the table if i click here you can see their uh, uh, you know uh, progress one by one in details progress you can see that also so once it is low install completely i'll come back now you can see that it's almost completed the plugins is install is almost completed so let's wait for a few more seconds and it will be installed quickly so now you can see the successfully install this plugin. So I just have to be close this and then refresh our complete service now instance. So once you successfully install and refresh your left navigation, you will be I mean the complete service now instance. If you search with the agile keyword, you will get that couple of modules which is available. The agile development is your parent application. Under this application, you have a couple of child um, modules. So these are the modules, and you can see that 
uh, this get start is nothing but it will be point to your service now documentation guided setup where you can set the step by step you can set up your agile development we'll definitely set up our plugin um, the, our um, module one by one uh, so till the time thank you very much have a great day if you have any question let me know in my comment sections thank you very much